Welcome back to the captain's quarters. I am your captain, the serious seeker speaking. And today we are continuing Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. We're currently in Bogley Woods, which is where the uh, the second crystal star is. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. I don't. I don't think it goes to scale on that because the puny was quite large. <clears throat> puny was not so puny. Oh my gosh, and neither is this tree. Well, it is the great tree after all. Hold on, I know that there's a badge over here. There it is. Yep. Uh, tips with Sirius is to always explore everywhere around an area. Uh. Oh no, uh, what's the matter? Uh, well, take a look. Uh, this door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh, um, got it! Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled. It won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Uh, let's be a worry warp. But how in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? <clears throat> well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh, oh, got it, Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The other says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corners of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Yep, so we can't get into the tree because somebody installed a door. <clears throat> ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I have ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flesh bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That a moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. <gasps> on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's subtle then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait, wait a moment. No, it's gone, gone, I tell you. My, my. Anybody take any guesses? The hint is in the previous episode. 
she's missing something very specific. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Okay, uh, I don't need an ink coupon. Don't need it. Get out of here, cleft. Yay, no damage. Let's see if I what happens if I power smash you. Boom. Oh, okay. So I'll just hit you hit you with a hammer then? Easy peasy. Give me some points here. Perfect. Oh! Quick little buggers. I'm gonna do an Earth Tremor again. Alright, there's one. Two. Three, four, five, for six damage, technically. Good stuff. Mm, there's a spot. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, I have to go this way. And click that. Well, that's one way to grow a tree a little bit quicker. Ooh. Shine Sprite. Perfect. What do we got in here? <clears throat> Quake Hammer will actually be pretty helpful. And I'm actually curious. Quake Hammer is two, so no. I was going to switch it out with the uh, Power Smash. that so I'm gonna peel so I can get more star power well that's unfortunate I can't hit him appealing it is oh nice shot The unfortunate thing is these these puffs don't give me enough star power or star points. Look, there in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. Uh, I don't think I need that yet. Let's go to her place real quick. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. <clears throat> uh, Madam Flurry, hello. If you're in here, say something. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. 
Uh, Madam Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem with that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid, stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. And Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that. My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. You just cannot come out. I just cannot come out. Gee, is, is, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz. That must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend, Pudio. Don't, don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? Nah. <laughs> sure. Great, it's decided then. Now let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Yep, it is the necklace. So we have to go and uh, hopefully beat on the shadow sirens. Beldum, I told you. Blaming me for losing the sketch and you had it. <laughs> Silence, you twins. Now is not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Gah, gah. <laughs> wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my loveliest? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Yuck! He's Mr. Mustache. G -g Actually, I can't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your faults. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. Uh, what? That's not fair. You're the one who had the. Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Uh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Ah. Uh. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure how to find this Mario chup. Uh, okay. Crazy thing is, I'm going to them. <laughs> For those of the uh, younger generation, um. If you know a, a kid was playing this game, that's the hint to tell you that we have to go and fight them. So, we are going to do just that. Oh! I forgot the enemies respawn. So I decided to run away because they're only giving me two star points each. And I'm just not in the mood for getting to- Ooh, hello. I forgot there was a badge there. No in coupon. Then we gotta get through this zone next. Whoop. I mean, the enemies are pretty easy to dodge. Once you know kind of like their movements and such. Well, if it isn't Mario. 
Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I remember. They're the ones with the... Uh, hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Uh, whoa, whoa, scary lady. Uh, how do you know about the map and the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three... The Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you nincompoop, what are you babbling about with Shadow Sirens? I don't see three beauties, I see two, but then there's you and your plug ugly. Oh, alright, sis. I'm sorry, it's just you always call us lovelies, and... It's just a figure of speech. Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies, or rather my lovely and ugly. Marilyn, Vivian, the might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Okay, go. Yay, mini boss battle. It's most unlikely that our sights are set on you. Well, unlikely for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian. Let's show them precisely what we can do. Okay. Yes, sis. Alright. We're going to attack them in order. Power shell. What are you doing, Vivian, you twit? I'll never forgive you if you lose. This is sorry, sis. Ow. Okay. Nice little frost attack there. But I have an earth tremor that I could use. <laughs> One down. Sorry, sis. Ah! Now it's up to you. Oof. Attack power is boosted. All right. That wasn't too bad. We yeah. Ooh. Maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you prepare for a world class punishment session when we get home. <laughs> yes, sis. Yay! That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. No, no. No. Ugh. I thought I could get around him. I needed to face the cleft. Need more flower power. Oof. Missed. Uh, 
Uh, do this first, so that way Mario can hit Cleft. Good stuff. Oop, 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 oop. Ooh. Get out of there pretty quickly, huh? Bypass here. Don't mind him any anything. Perfect. Let's go see Madame Flurry. Whoop. And as you are probably guessing, Flurry might be a new partner. Oh, you delightful fellow, you found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, splendid, splendid, and my oh-so-ravishing necklace. I'm awash with joy. This is Madame Flurry. Oh, oh my word. Mario, is it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm. Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the lowlifes in Rogueport? A danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plus mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble. And I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. New party member! Flurry's ability is a primer. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down X to make Flurry exhale continuously. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. She can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. Uh, this is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great! Uh, and even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Yeah, perfect. Um... If I remember correctly, there was technically a chest in here. Can I actually go in here? Ugh, no. There's an item chest in there, though. Dang it.
See, I can make their head spin for a while. Nice. Now I can just make my getaway. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it makes for great story, but I'm not going to go through each email that comes in. Trust me. You don't want me to. Ready for this? Secret entrance. <laughs> That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Aren't puny just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry. The world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies in their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress. And that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Uh, check it out. I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. This time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Hurry up, go inside. Uh, hmm? Weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder! Everybody, come out! Hello? <clears throat> what? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Heh, <laughs> whoa, dude, is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. <laughs> but dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's, lo let's rock this jump. One, two, three, break! Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. Experience. Okay, eh, crud. Stung, man. Hey, dude, maybe reporting back to Little Crump is such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. Uh, but the question remains where'd everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He, he, he's huge. Uh, are you sure you use mustachioed man? It won't try to eat us. Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? So many of them. He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us. Danger. Nice stash. He scares me so burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario stop every one of them. Just like those last goons. Mm, 
look at how cute they are. Is this it? There's, there's so few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! Wait! How do you really know this burly fellow was our ally? It might be one of them. Puniper? What are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Huh. Big bad Punio. Listen to yourself. Try to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking? What? What, what are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petuni? Tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so all right. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of them. Oh, poor Petuni. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make the street their own once they, we've all been driven from it. This is it for us. The end. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jabbies. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pull our strength. Huh. Punio, punio, punio. You'll have to convince me, but I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what. You and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you could free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Huh. Like that'll ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on. Follow me to glory. Let's go help them. We will start helping them next time on the Captain's Quarters. Thank you guys so much for watching, enjoying. Please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, you guys are awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys aboard the next one. All right, goodbye everyone.